Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is project number three for our multi-project electronic learning board. It can be found at EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com, link below. There's also 11 tutorials linked below. And uh, to understand the theory for this project, you'll need to watch the 555 timer and monostable mode tutorial, tutorial number uh, three, I believe, and uh, the actuators tutorial, which I believe is uh, tutorial number nine. Now. What we don't talk about in tutorial number 9 uh, in detail is the output of the relay. Let's say ignore our monostable port part of the circuit for now, we'll get back to that in a minute. The relay controls three pins. Common pin, normally closed pin, and normally open pin. When the relay is off, the common pin is connected internally to the normally closed pin. When the relay is turned on, it disconnects from the normally closed pin, it connects to the normally open pin. So the traces are very thick on the board. Now what we can do is we can take uh, a plug, we can take an extension cord, a dollar store extension cord, and we can take one wire and cut it right here. So this line is severed. We place one in the common pin and the other side into the uh, normal, in normally open pin. And what happens is when the relay is activated, it is reconnected internally and applies power to the lamp in a circuit. So this is a series circuit. It's like plugging your lamp into 120 volts um, in, into a wall, you know, a, a wall outlet. Only what we've done is we've severed these lines. We've severed one line, uh, ideally the hot line, but uh, because electrical code would suggest that you need to switch on the hot line uh, as opposed to the neutral line. But it doesn't really matter. Most two-pronged uh, extension cords only have two wires, and they're not labeled white or, or black. So cut one wire. Doesn't really matter which one. One goes to normally open, one goes to common. When the relay turns on, it connects them. It acts to connect here to here. So we've got a series circuit, lamp will turn on. So getting back to this, this is a terminal block on the board. The three-pin terminal block is labeled N, C, C, O, and N, O. So we're actually going to do this. We're going to light up a lamp using our relay. Now to control our relay, we have a 555 timer and monostable multivibrator. Now, this obviously isn't the schematic. This is the block diagram. You have to watch the tutorials to understand the circuitry. All of the tutorials are listed below. Anyhow, getting back to it, we've got uh, our, our push button that allows for us to trigger a long delay. And when the, op when the output is triggered, uh, the output will be 5 volts, and that will, that will drive a relay through our transistor driver. And then after the delay is elapsed, the line will go low again and the relay will turn off. Uh, there's a potentiometer on the board labeled DLY for delay. And we can adjust that to uh, make the pulse width longer or shorter. Uh, the button is labeled S1 delay. Now there's two pins that we have to connect. This is again a very simple project, but it's a very, very important one because the relay will be involved in many of our projects. We have to connect the DLY out pin, which is the output of the 555 timer, pin 3, to our actuator driver, which in this case will be connected to our relay driver. We also have to make one more adjustment to one of the jumpers on the board, but we'll get to that in a minute. So hopefully this makes sense. The 555 timer controls the relay driver, which controls the relay as a transistor circuit, and that will turn our lamp on and off for, for a duration of time. So let's have at it. Here's our 555 timer in monostable mode. This is our DLY button, so we can simulate uh, and, and press this to determine what the output will be, the pulse width. This is our DLY potentiometer. What we need to do is we need to, to adjust this. We're going to try to adjust it for a uh, three second pulse. So what we have to do first is connect the DLY output, which is right here, to our LED. And we can see what the, deal, what the delay is right now by the LED. Very short. So turning the potentiometer left makes the delay longer. Turning it right makes it shorter. And that's adding resistance to the line, uh, l limiting current more and more as you turn it left to the onboard timing capacitor. So let's keep going. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So we still want to turn it a little bit more left. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to take our actuator jumper here. There are six pins. The leftmost, if you put the jumper on it, drives the buzzer. If you have the jumper on the middle two pins, it drives the relay. If you have it on the right two pins, it drives the motor. So what we're going to do, what we'll do. Take our jumper off, 
place it on the relay and we will move our DOI output from the LED to the ACT actuator uh, input. This, dri the re this drives the relay which drives our relay. So listen, ca listen carefully for the relay. That was the relay turning off. Now, again, watch our relay tutorial. Watch our monostable multivibrator tutorial. So now what I'm going to do is here's my terminal block. I know it'll be very difficult to see, but the right the rightmost pin is, is uh, NO, normally open. Middle is CO, common. And leftmost is NC, so normally close. So I've got a... I've got a uh, an extension cord, and I'm going to. Uh, it's not plugged in. Not plugged in. If you ha if you were young, you've never used AC before. Have a, a grown up assist you. Uh, what I've done is I've severed the wire, and I'm going to plug one side into CO, one side into NO, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll put a lamp. We'll put a lamp on it, and well, I'll just show you that in a second. As you can see, my severed wire is connected to the CO and the NO pins, and when the relay is turned on, internally they will connect each other, so it will just be like they were wired back together, and that will apply power to our lamp. So let's attach our lamp to it. So power is reaching the board through my black AC adapter. Uh, this cord right here is connected to 120 volts AC. This uh, secondary extension cord is connected to the lamp. Of course, one of the wires is severed and placed into the terminal block. The power switch to the lamp is on. I press the S1 button, and the relay turns on. And then it turns off after a duration. So we're, we're actually going to learn how to toggle relays on in the near future. But try this on for size. If you've watched project number two, you'll know how the PIR sensor works. Try to figure out how to use the PIR sensor to drive the relay when, there, when it detects motion. I'll give you a hint. The output of the PIR sensor just needs to be connected directly onto the ACT, the actuator pin, and you need to make sure that your actuator jumper is set to RLY for relay. Then whenever you have motion, it will turn the lamp on for, for however long it detects motion for. You know what? Let's try it. Our 555 timer monostable multivibrator is no longer an element in this circuit. The output of the PIR module is connected directly to the ACT, uh, the ACT uh, actuator input, which is driving our relay. So as soon as it powered on, again, if you've watched project number two, and I suggest you do, you will know that as soon as I plug it in, the, the uh, PIR module will become unstable for a short amount of time. So it will turn on the relay as soon as I power it up. It will take some time to stabilize, and then it will pick, pick, pick up on my movement uh, as I move around the room. So I'm going to plug in power, the main power now to power the board. I'm going to move away. I'm going to give it a second. See, it's still unstable. So let me uh, just wait a second. I'm going, to, I'm going to move. Neat, huh? Motion detector light set it here. Or a motion detector. So I'm moving back and forth now. And there you have it. So this is project number three, relay driver. I'm going to keep running across it. Uh, please keep, keep watching our videos. Look, look for our, our device on engineeringshock.com or electroniclessons.com. Watch the tutorials below. Take care, guys.